This occurring challenge is called height of a binary tree. We're going to receive a tree. It's going to contain nodes and edges, and we need to return the height of the tree. We have an example here, and this piece of text here, which says the height of a binary tree is the number of edges between the tree's roots and its furthest leaf. We need to write a simple algorithm that is going to figure this out for us. And this is the logic that I'm going to use. We're going to have a function which is going to receive the roots of the tree. And we're going to verify if that root is null. If it's null, then we're going to return negative one. If it's not, then we're going to proceed and traverse the left subtree. We're going to do the same thing on the right. And the way in which we're going to receive the height of the tree is noted here in step four. At every level, we're going to find the largest height value and add one to it. I have this illustration here. This is a binary tree and we have the nodes four and two, six and one and three. So at first, we're going to receive four. We're going to verify is four null, it's not. So we can go to the left child, which is two, is two null, it's not. So we can go to this child here, the left child. That node is also not null. So we can descend to the left child of that node, which is null. So this time around is going to return negative one. When we go to the right child and we compare the height of the left child and the right child, they are both going to give us negative one because they are null. So this is also going to return negative one. If you look at my logic here, I said we're going to add one to the largest height value returned. So when we compare between negative one and negative one, what is the largest height value is the same thing. It's negative one. So we add one to it plus one and we'll get zero. So here, both function calls are going to return zero. And once we receive these values, we're going to compare them again between zero and zero. What is the maximum value? We add one to zero and we get one here. But when we go through the right subtree, what do we get? We go to six here. When we try and get the height for the left child and the right child, both of them return negative one. So we add one to that value, we get zero, which is here. And now we compare between one, which is the value that we got when we traversed our left subtree and zero here, which is the value that we got when we traversed our right subtree. What is the maximum? The maximum here is one. So we're going to add one to that value here and we're going to get two. And two here is going to be the height of this binary tree. So here is the code in C++. We have this function, it's called height. It receives a node pointer, which is the root. And then we verify here, is that root null? If it is, then we return negative one. If it's not, then we go ahead and use recursion to find the height of our left subtree and our right subtree. And we always add one to the values returned. So let me submit this code right away. And then I will also test that code in C. So in C++, we pass all the test cases. Now I'm going to switch here to C. And in C, the code is a bit different. So first of all, this function here is called get height. It uses a struct instead of a class. We still check if the root is null. But instead of using the max function, I'm using here a ternary operator where I'm comparing what is the greatest value between whatever was returned when we traverse the left subtree and what was returned when we traverse the right subtree. And I say, if it's the left, then I'm using this value to add one to it. Otherwise I will use this value to add one to it. And this here is plus one. So let me submit this code right away. And we've also passed all the test cases. So that's it for this occurring challenge. It was called height of a binary tree. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.